And right now, we want to go back to the scene of the crime. News Force Kara Lynch has been at the scene all afternoon and all evening. She can bring us an update now. Tara? But I've been telling you one story since we first came on the air, and it was about this man here, Grady Lewis. You were in that tops earlier this afternoon. We're going to get to that story. Uh, but you told me just a few moments ago that you actually spoke with the suspect yesterday. He was here. Tell me more about that. Um, I seen him, and he looked strange in the neighborhood, but he had a genius shirt on. So I wanted to see if he was a genius. And we sat and talked about stream theory, critical race theory, uh, the beginning of civilization. And and he seemed like he was a genius, actually. Uh, he said he came up just to see the countryside, and um, he was going to go out camping. He bought a, a big thing, a jug of water. He had a little nervous twitch to him. I bought him something to drink, and we sat and talked for about an hour and 45 minutes after seeing the pictures and seeing the blue car that I seen him got into um, yesterday. So it's a shock right now, and he told me his name was Peyton. Um, so it's a shock. And we did see a blue car get taken away from yep. this scene just about a half hour or so ago. And you were saying that you were speaking with him on a bench that's located outside of this tops. Yes. That's the bench that earlier today, when I first got here, you were the first person I spoke to. You were telling me that bench is your office. Yes. And you usually like to stop and sit there and talk yes. to people that yes. are passing by. Today, you didn't stop. Yes. So walk me through uh, your afternoon here at the tops. Well, I went in there and got me some um, a juice. And um, I didn't want to sit there today, so I walked across the street and I opened up my, my, my juice. And as I opened up my juice, I heard what I knew wasn't a firecracker. And I looked up and I seen a guy shooting people. Then I seen a security guard run inside. And then I seen him going after him shooting. And I saw him come back out and, and I, he had all camouflage on and glasses and helmet and then he put the gun to his head and he dropped it he took off his gloves he took off um something um his gun he put it down he took off his vest and then um he got on his knees and laid down and put his hands behind his back and they, uh, they arrested him at that point and the other thing I wanted to talk to you about you were telling me about the security guard the former Buffalo police officer who has tragically died in this incident you were telling me today he told you no lingering around the store we gotta gotta keep it clear yes you credited that man with saving your life yes i heard him, him say to someone there's no lingering around the store so me knowing that he was a buffalo police officer i never really wanted to give him an opportunity to say anything to me so when i do go i shop and I leave, and that's the reason why I left, because I heard him tell people that a couple times. So you don't ever really gotta tell me something four or five times for me to understand. And, and from what I heard, he went back and he shot at him when he went in the store. So yeah, but if he wasn't there, I would have been sitting there. So <laughs> I'm definitely thankful that I heard him say that. Yes, I'm definitely thankful to Mr. Salters. Yes, definitely. Well, Mr. Lewis, thank you so much for joining me here tonight and for telling me your story earlier yes. today. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, this entire community here is mourning this tragic loss. There's a memorial set up down Landon Street here. A truly challenging, difficult, sad, heartbreaking day here in the city of Buffalo. For now, live on Jefferson and Landon, Tara Lynch, News 4. And Tara, that was pretty remarkable what that man said. He, I'm sure authorities will want to talk to him. He said he sat for an hour and 45 minutes yesterday talking to the young man who is the suspect in this case. He also saw the end of the shooting today when the suspect who had the gun up to his neck put it down and surrendered. And surrendered. Very important. Got to talk to him. Absolutely, Tara. That was remarkable there.